Welcome to another video. The mission is to show you how to take the definite integral of a floor function and actually you can apply this to the ceiling function, just do the proper modifications. Whenever you have one or both of the limits of integration not being integers. So I'm just going to tell you what to do right from the beginning. And then I'm going to show you why you should do what I just told you to do. Now, don't make life complicated for yourself. Whenever you're given the boundaries, it's a definite integral, not indefinite. If it's definite, this is what I would recommend you do. I think you should split this just as we would do for um, improper integrals. The same way you would do it, such that you will split the integral into two, that's what I would recommend in this case, and your life will be a lot easier. Let's get into the video. I recommend that you split this integral into this. This is the integral from 3 to 8 of the floor of x dx. And you're going to add the remaining area that is not included, which is just the area of the point from 8 to 0 0.8. And your answer is 8 times 0 0.8. This will always be what you get. And I'm going to explain that here. Okay, remember in a previous video, I showed you that the, the integral, if you integrate the floor of x, your answer will always be this. It will be x squared minus x divided by 2. And then you can evaluate from top to bottom from 3 to 8. And then we're going to be adding 8 times this. This is going to be, what's 8 times 8? 64. With one decimal place, it becomes 6.4. So if we evaluate this, this is going to be 8 squared minus 8. What's 8 squared minus 8? That's 56. 64 minus 8 is 56 divided by 2 is going to be 28. So you have 28 minus, you plug in 3, it's going to be 9 minus 3. That's 6. Half of 6 is 3 plus 6.4. Your answer should be 25 plus, that's 31.4. Whoa, that looks like pi. Okay, so 31.4 is the answer to this integral. And this is why I recommend you do it this way. Because it is faster, you can do it to the bottom too. Just know what you're doing. Watch this. Suppose this is the graph of the floor of x. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay, because we're going to 8.8. .8. So we're going to start from the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we start from 3, we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the floor of anything from 3 to 4 is always going to be this way. Okay, now the floor from 4 to 5 will start from 4, go all the way to 5, then from 5 to 6 is going to go here, and from 6 to 7 is going to go here. I hope I'm getting the numbers right. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it looks like it. And from 7 to 8 is going to go here. And then from 8 to 9, but 8 to 9 does not go that far. It goes up to 8.8. .8. So what you have is, you're going to have a bunch of rectangles. So this is a rectangle. This is like this. Okay. Okay. But the last one does not go all the way here. It stops halfway. The height is... 8, okay, so this is a rectangle, so the height goes here, so the floor goes all the way, uh, there's something wrong with my drawing, 3 to 4, floor, floor of 4 is, oh, yeah, that's the mistake, okay, <laughs> okay, so this is the rectangle, so 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we get to 7, and then when we get here, 
the floor of this is just you see it does not get all the way to nine so we're still gonna stay with this area here tap 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 and the width of this is 0 0.8 but the height is 8 because the floor of all values between 8 and 9 is just down so every time you get a non-integer upper limit or non-integer lower limit just try to look at the picture suppose this was 2.5 I'm gonna start from here and then I'm gonna add this area what area is gonna start from 2 somewhere here so I'm gonna just add some if it's 2.5 it's gonna be from here to this point that's what I'm gonna add to it because the height is gonna be 2 which is the floor of this so I'm just gonna add this tiny bit if this was 2.5 and that's it so it's always gonna be the difference between for the lower limit is gonna be the difference between this 3 and 2.5 which is 0 0.5 times 2 okay which is gonna be 1 added to whatever you have but but fortunately for the bottom one what we have is just this so in order to save yourself from memorizing an extra formula just treat it as if it is an in complete um, rectangle so I, you can see the answer from here it is 8 times 0 0.8 the decimal part of it multiplied by the height that's it for every floor function and if it's an integer there you go so that's what we're gonna do now how did we come about that formula we just added 3 remember the area of this this is 1 1 1 1 times 3 1 times 4 1 times 5 so the area of each of these was 3 4 5 six seven it's like an arithmetic progression and you added all the terms together and we came about this formula eventually when i showed that video okay i'll leave the link in the description below and um, that's it and this one is just the part that we need to add that is not a complete one i hope you can see it so from here if we add three plus four plus five plus six plus seven and add this that's gonna be the total area. Let's do it in practice, actually. So we have the area is three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus this area that we just shaded is gonna be eight times 0 0.8, okay? Which is going to be equal to 25 plus um, 6.4, which is 31.4 square units, okay? I hope this explanation works. So you can see that once you have this done, any fractional part of it, if it is the upper limit, you're just supposed to subtract. You just look at it. If it is the lower limit, so like I said, if this lower part was 2.5, you're still gonna start from three, which is above it, and then you're gonna add what, what is missing. What is missing is just gonna be a tiny fraction of this, which is gonna be 0 0.5 times the floor on this side so maybe we can make a formula out of this but it's gonna be crazy because then you start memorizing a lot of formulas make your own formula out of this that's part of learning and never stop learning because those who stop learning stop living bye bye